fresh foodies, I feel like I need to spice up my life a little bit. It's been really cold and I think the best way to heat up is from the inside. And the best way to do that is with a soup. Not just any soup, I definitely want to hone in a different region. You know, I want to go to someplace warm. Food can transport you to any region that you want. I'm going to be making a delicious coconut corn soup. The first thing you want to do is shuck the corn. Okay, you want to take off all of the leaves surrounding the corn and just reserve that to throw away later. Slice off the corn kernels in a downward motion and keep rotating the corn to take off all of the kernels. Then you want to flip it over and finish getting all those corn kernels off of that rind. Set the rind aside, we're not going to get rid of it, okay? We're actually gonna use it later. Do the same thing with the other head of corn, gently slicing off the corn kernels in a downward motion, flip it over, take off the rest of the corn kernels, and save the rind. Now we're gonna grab our onion, slice that up, and chop that up, and set that aside. Now go ahead and pop that garlic chop that up and put it in a little container. We're also going to use some ginger, which is going to be amazing with the coconut flavor in this. So take off all the skin from the ginger, slice that up and give that a rough chop and place that in the same container with the garlic. To give this great color, we're going to add a little bit of red bell pepper. You wanna dice up the red bell pepper by slicing it into thin sticks and then turning those slices into dices. In a pot over medium high heat, you want to melt in your coconut oil and then add your garlic, onion, and ginger and you're going to cook that until the vegetables become nice and soft. Now you're gonna add those corn rinds into your pot. Once that's ready to go, go ahead and add in your broth. You want a neutral flavored broth. You don't want anything too strong and you definitely want it to be low sodium. And let that simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. You want as much corn flavor from that rind as possible. Once that is all set, take the rinds out of the pot and now you can throw those away. Now you're gonna add half of your corn kernels. Let that simmer for about five minutes and now you're going to add that soup into a blender. Do this carefully, ladle it in carefully, being sure not to hurt yourself, this is still hot. And when you're getting ready to use your blender, do not, I repeat, do not turn your blender on high. This needs to start at the lowest setting and you need to pulse it. If you turn your blender on high with hot soup in the blender, it will explode, all right? You will hurt yourself. There'll be stuff all over the place. You're gonna have to clean up. It's gonna be a nightmare. So just start your blender on low speed. You can give it a couple pulses and then gently turn it up. It doesn't need to go too high. Everything should blend up pretty smoothly. Now you're going to add your soup back into the pot and you're going to bring that back up into a low simmer and add the rest of your corn and the red bell pepper. Once that's up to a simmer, add in your coconut milk, light coconut milk. We're going to brighten this up even more by grating in some fresh lime zest and using the juice of about a quarter of the lime. You don't need too much lime juice for this. Stir that in and go ahead and season it with salt. And I'm going to add a little bit of spiciness by adding a couple of drops of sriracha. And that's it. The soup is done. This is like the fastest, most delicious soup you will ever have. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe and I'll see you next time.